Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to filter out the records from Pandas data frame. Okay, so let's get started. So here I have read in the stack overflow developer survey data into a Pandas data frame and I have displayed the top 5 rows here. So this data frame or this particular data set contains in total 73,268 records and 79 columns, right? So in this data frame, <coughs> there is a column called as converted comp yearly. So this column actually represents the salary for each individual who have taken part in this survey. Okay. So now if we want to filter out the filter out this particular data frame, wherein the salary is less than 50,000. So this salary, everything is represented in US dollars. Okay. So let's filter out the records where the salary is less than 50,000. So let me just type that in here. Let's filter out the records or just select the records. Uh, instead of saying filter out, let's say let's select the records where salary is less than 50,000. Okay. <clears throat> so this is what we want to do this operation we want to do on this particular data frame. So, how we can do? So, what we can say df of that particular column here, right? So, it's converted comp yearly. So, let me just copy that name and if I just say less than 50,000, it will return a series of booleans, okay, wherein we will have either true or false. So, wherever you can see true, it states that the salary at that particular location is less than 50,000. Okay. Wherever you are seeing the false value here, it states that the salary at those particular locations is not less than 50,000. <coughs> it's either equal to 50,000 or greater than 50,000. Okay. So, but this is not the way you want to have the output, right? You want to have the actual records, right? So, in order to select the actual records where the salary is less than 50,000, what you can do? You can create a variable called as filled. Let's say, let's just call it as a filled variable, filter variable, short for filled, okay? So, filled is equal to df of converted comp yearly less than 50,000. So, now if you check this variable filled here, it's the same Boolean series. So now what you can do, you can say df of filled. So what it will do, it will return us all the records in the form of data frame where this condition is satisfied. Okay. Now if you check the salary, salary column here, it will be always less than 50,000. Why? <coughs> because we have set the filter condition to display the records only when the salary is less than 50,000. Okay. So that's why we are seeing these records where the salary is less than 50,000. Okay. Now there is another way which I like more that is using loc method. So we can use this filled variable or we can filter the data frame using this filter condition using loc indexer as well. Right. So how I can do that? That can be done using df dot loc of I can pass this filled variable here. Okay. So now I have the same output as I had earlier in this way. Right. So why I prefer this dot loc? Because in this case, I will be able to select the columns required for me. So here I do not want to see all the columns. So there are 79 columns and I am not interested in all the columns. So in order for me to verify the filter condition, whether it's working or not, I can just select that salary column, right? So how I can do that? df dot loc of filled comma. I can pass in the column name that I want to display. So that column name is converted from yearly. So now if I execute it, I will see only that particular column where this condition is satisfied. What's the condition? The value of this particular column is less than 50,000, right? So I can do this. Can I do the same? Can I select the columns in this way? Uh, when I'm filtering the data frame in this way, we will not be able to do that. We will be getting the error. Why? 
I'll tell you. So if I say filled, comma, and I'll just copy this here. Without lock, I am trying to filter the record and trying to select the column that I want to see it. Okay. So now if I execute it, it will say error. It's a type error. Why? Converted comp early. It's a type is bool and it's an invalid. It's an invalid key. Right. <clears throat> this particular thing is not a key here. So this is not a column together. Correct. So that's why we will see this error. So this is the reason why I prefer to use loc indexer more when I am trying to filter out the data frames. Okay. So this is one way to filter the data frames. Now let us say, uh, let's call this filter as low salary filter. Okay. So let me just create another variable called as low cell filter. Okay. Let me just name it as low cell filter. And where the salary is less than 50,000. So I have this now. So now what I want to do, uh, let's say I want to uh, before, okay, so let's see what are the columns present in this particular data frame, okay, so that we will have an idea what we can do more with the filters, okay. So do I, do I have anything called as gender? Yes, I have gender here, right. So let me see what are the values present in the gender column gender dot unique so this will display me all the values once so there are some null values so we'll ignore that for now so it's not male or female <clears throat> it has multiple values right so it has man woman <clears throat> gender queer non-confirming prefer not to say non-binary so there are many things right so what we do <clears throat> let's say we want to have only the records where the genders are either man or woman okay <clears throat> so let me first uh, let me first uh, create a list called as gender wherein i'll have the values man comma woman okay so this is my list so now i want to have the gender filter and i can specify this in this way so df of <coughs> gender i can say dot is in this gender list okay so now if i execute it and then check the gender field <coughs> it will tell me the series of boolean values true or false again it represents the same thing where it is true the gender is either of this one man or woman if it is false it is neither man nor woman but it could be any of the other values right so gender square prefer not to say non-binary etc right so this is our gender filter now what i want to do is i want to combine uh, combine this low salary filter with gender filter so i have my low salary filter where the salary is less than 50000 and also i have my gender filter so basically what i am trying to do is i am trying to fetch the records from the data frame where gender is either male or female so in this case it's man or woman and salary is less than 50,000 US dollars so how I can do this so I have my two filters so one is low salary filter correct low salary field and other is gender field so I can combine both of these using and and or operators right so let me show you how we can do that. So we cannot use and or uh, as we use in Python. In instead of that, we will use ampersand, right? Like this, and this this is for and and this this particular symbol is for or. Okay. So now let's use these particular filter conditions in order to achieve the required result here. So how I can do that? I can say, I can say my whole filter. Let me just name it as filter. Filt is equal to. So I'll say low cell filt and gender filt. <coughs> okay. So now this filt will return me the records where the salary is less than fifty thousand and also where the gender is either man or woman. 
okay so now if i pass in df dot lope of filled i will have the records where my salary is less than 50000 and the gender is either man or woman so in order to verify that what i can do uh, as i'm using log here i can specify the required columns so let me say gender comma converted comp yearly so that's my salary column right so let me just copy that so now i can see the gender having only values man woman and converted comp yearly having the value less than 50000 so this is how you can filter it but there is there could be some requirement or there could be requirement where we want to filter the records where the salary is less than 50000 but the gender is not man or woman so the gender is neither man or nor woman so how we can negate we want to actually negate this particular filter here gender filter how we can do that so it's simple so we can say <coughs> instead of and gen field we can say till we can if you if we just give till behind that field that filter it will negate that filter condition so in this case <coughs> what happens this filter will now fetch me the records from the data frame where the salary is less than 50000 but the gender is neither man or not woman okay so let me show that to you so now if i execute this particular thing here <coughs> you can see the gender is neither man nor woman so all other values are fetched here okay so this is how you can negate some filters using just a tilde symbol <coughs> okay so just think if there was no implementation of this particular kind of negation thing you would have to create another filter just to counter the filter that you had created earlier right so this is a very useful and powerful way to filter the records from the data frame in order to fetch only the required records okay so another thing i want to show you so that i can demo you something called as ease in method as well okay so now let's see let's filter the records where the users have used python as one of their programming languages okay so let me just write it let's filter the records where programming language is python so for this the column is languages language have worked with so if you go here and then check the columns you can see a column named language have worked with right so this one this column here okay so we'll check this particular column so df of language work with so you can see it's a string right and it has some null values and also the string each language is separated by a semicolon and few have python and few doesn't have python in it so how we can filter the records or how we can fetch the records from this particular data frame so this particular data frame where this particular column has value python in it so how we can achieve that so let's see that so what i can say so before applying the filter before working with the filter let's see how we can specify the condition where this particular column has python in it okay so it's simple so what we have to do let's convert this column into a string so it's easy in pandas you can just access the string you can convert the entire series to string by using this particular attribute string so in this case this column can be accessed as string now so each entry here will be accessed as a string instead of entire thing as a series we will get each entry here using this particular attribute called as str so now what i will do i will say str dot I'll use contains method. Okay, so I'll say contains. So what I want it to contain, I want it to contain Python. Okay, and I want to treat null values as false. Okay, so because this returns me a boolean true or false. If this particular record contains Python, it returns me true. Otherwise, it will return me false. But what if it's null value? 
right so i want this to be treated as false right so that's what i am specifying it here so now if i execute it you can see it is again returning me a series of boolean values okay now i can treat this as my language filter okay so let me say lang filter is equal to this particular condition here okay and then i can use my df dot lock indexer and pass this lang filter so these are all the records wherein the language have worked with contains python in them so this is how you can fill uh, fetch the records where people have worked with python as one of their programming languages so in another way if i want to fetch the records where i want to have only the survey records where i do not want to have the python in them where in other words i want to fetch the records where people have not worked with python so how i can do that or uh, i already have the feature i uh, sorry i already have the filter wherein i have specified it to fetch the records where it contains python right so i can simply use negation of this filter to fetch the opposite records so when i say opposite records what happens if i just negate this so let's say dot lock negation of lang filter so what happens with this execution it will fetch me all the records where this particular column doesn't have python as a value in it okay so if i just execute it and if if you want to verify you can verify this particular column here let let me fetch that particular column as well so it will be easy to see that okay so its language have worked with right so let me just copy that so its language have worked with right so in this case you will not see any record containing python in it so how you can verify it? so if i just check if i just convert it to str and say contains python it will return me false always so one thing i can do is treat na as false so everything will be false right so in this way you can also verify whether your filters are working properly or not okay so this is how you can filter the data frame you can fetch the required records and you can do away with the records that you do not want to work with okay so this will be really important while you work with the projects so in any data analysis or data science projects so i hope you understood and learned something new in this particular video if you like the content please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe okay so thanks one and all till we see in the next video happy learning bye bye